Welcome to Channel15Radio.com, old-time radio drama for a new era. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Tonight, we are pleased to present the first episode of our audio drama, The Ambassador, a fun, family-friendly sci-fi martial arts adventure. We are also pleased to say that our show is entirely human-made, and we're the humans. Hello, world. Hello. 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 That was the cast of our show. We will meet them shortly. Tonight, our feature is Episode 1, Departure Day, Part 1. We learn about the Central Alliance and the Masters of Razal Hob. First Contact Ambassador Micah Lawrence is called to appear before the High Council. We have looked to the stars for 10,000 years, from the time before the early orbiters to the first colonies on Mars and the breakthroughs that let us travel to the nearby stars we wanted to go. So we did. We moved out among the stars in our local neighborhood. We made friends and discovered new worlds. We built better ships. We rediscovered ancient technologies. We kept going. We founded the Central Alliance on Dagon in the formal hut system to promote trade and to protect each other. The Alliance wanted to create a training program for a group of special first contact ambassadors. They asked the masters of Razal Hog to create a program that would reveal the character of the person and prepare those who could complete it to become one of these special first contact ambassadors. The Masters were highly respected as keepers of the five elements, metal, water, wood, fire, and earth, and as adepts in the ancient arts of healing and fighting. The Council of Nine agreed. To be considered an applicant must have studied multiple languages, historical perspectives, and all the core philosophies and ideas of at least one civilization throughout its development. The physical requirements were more demanding. These ambassadors had to be able to evade capture, fight, and improvise as needed. The graduates were all clever negotiators. They earned a reputation for being polite, fair, honest, shrewd, and not those to cross. Not every graduate was offered a first contact charter. The High Council was careful with their selections. A first contact charter gave the Ambassador the ability to make whatever decisions were required without consultations. Ambassador Michael Lawrence paced the clean marble floor outside the High Council chambers. Well-spaced woven silk carpets muffled her footsteps. She isn't tall, but she isn't short either. She's pretty, but not overtly so. Her long, dark blonde hair is braided over her left shoulder. She is dressed in the formal gold and rust color robes of a keeper of earth, with a simple dark red woven belt wrapped around her waist. Her ambassador's sash with several medals hangs across her right shoulder. The eight jewels in her first contact pin glisten in the clear light from the atrium windows above. They are arranged to match the relative positions of the eight original members of the Central Alliance. Sol, Eridani, Procyon, Vega, Altair, Fomalhut, Razalhag, and Aldebaran. A tall set of ornate doors takes up most of the inner wall. The doors begin to open slowly outward. Ambassador Michael Lawrence. The ambassador takes a breath and straightens, confident and humble at the same time. She moves gracefully with a traveler's determined gait. Worn, well-polished boots cover the space between her robes and the floor. She walks to the center of the room, crosses her arms to her chest with her fists closed, opens her arms to extend both hands palms up, turns them over, lowers them, 
and bows slightly. It is an old-fashioned, elegant gesture the keepers all used. The original meaning is complicated. The common meaning is simply, I offer you peace. She looks up at the twelve members of the Central Alliance High Council. My greetings, Madam President. My greetings to the entire Central Alliance High Council. How may I be of service? We have a problem. How can I help, Minister? We're getting more reports about the Old Mary. Several of our trading partners are reporting problems with their shipments of grains and other staples. What sort of problems, Madam President? Disruptions in deliveries, spoiled containers, book shipments not delivered. There are too many things that have not gone smoothly. And now, we're getting reports of all Mary Raiders scouting other sectors. What do our traders say? They don't. They don't tell us anything, nothing. They won't give us any details. All they say is they went to pick up the shipment and it wasn't there. They couldn't get the permit to load it. They were delayed and the shipment was sold to someone else. It's always some excuse. Is that what's happening though, Minister? What have they tried? Why did they fail? That is the question we want you to answer. Ambassador. I see. The latest reports we have are from traders near Kaelin in the Heidi's cluster. And that is where you are going. Madam President, you want me to go where? The Heidi's cluster is well outside the local neighborhood. It will take weeks just to get there. Well, yes. That's why we want you to go there. We didn't give you a first contact charter so you could take nice vacations. We'd rather not wait for the old Mary to come closer. We need you to get to Kaylin and broker a treaty with them before the old Mary arrive. Do whatever you can to stop the old Mary. Oh, that's quite the charter, Madam President. I appreciate your confidence in me. We have assigned the Magellan to be your transport and your overwatch. Make your preparations quietly, Ambassador. Don't mention your mission to anyone until you are well underway, not until you are out of the local neighborhood. Even your team cannot know. They're used to that. Whatever you need, Ambassador. I'll get the preparations underway. Quietly, Ambassador. Quietly. Yes, Madam President. Micah, are you awake? Yes, Elio. <laughs> What's that in the background? Children singing? I'm watching an old Earth film called The Sound of Music. It's about a wealthy family with quite a few children. The children were singing a song about something called a cuckoo. It's lovely, Elio, just lovely. You'd like it, you would. I, I saw that film once. I did like the first part with the children singing. But the next part, I didn't like very much. How many glasses of wine have you had? Two, well, yeah, maybe three. I really don't have anything else to do. We're all packed and ready. Well, everything's ready. We're all good. Everything is ready? <laughs> is there anything about that everything I should know? No, no. Thanks for asking, though. Everything is good. We're all good. Really? All good? Micah, what did you do? No, 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 don't tell me. I don't want to know. I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. I know you too well. Yes, you do. But that's not why you called. I wish it was. Traders returning through the Aldebaran system have sent new reports of increasing Elmari activity along the edge of the Orion Arm. We haven't received reports like this before. Like what? Several or more reliable partners have stopped trading with our buyers. The buyers are unable to pick up their shipments. We knew that was happening. It's part of why I'm leaving in the morning. What's different now? 
The traders inquired. The Almeri replied that it was their choice to trade with others or not. Oh, crap. Well, yes, that's one way to put it. They aren't just scouting anymore. No, and they are moving more quickly. We receive quiet reports from our trading partners in that sector about the Almeri scouting parties just last year. It's only been three months. We didn't think they would be back so soon. Did they give you any better idea of what the Omeri are looking for? What do they want? No. We only know that they seem to be, uh, how do you say, harvesting planets. Harvesting for what? Je ne sais pas. I don't know. Once they arrive, we lose trade, then communications. Oh, what a mess. And you're sending me to go meet them? Thanks ever so. How is it you always seem to find the best assignments for me? You are so very welcome. Micah, if anyone can figure out something, it's you. With everything you know about agribusiness and your training, you are the best chance we have at finding a solution. I don't like sending you out there. Other than some traders, we don't have allies in that sector. You'll be mostly on your own. We don't have any good options. We need to find out what is going on and we must find a way to stop the Elmeri before they get any closer. You're scheduled to depart first thing in the morning. Try to get some rest now. Like I'm going to sleep well after this conversation. Get another glass of wine or go back to watching your film. I can do that. Make sure your alarm is set. Already done. Micah, I know it won't be easy. Keep your eyes open. Whatever you need. Just ask. Thanks, Mom. Seriously, though, Elio. Thank you. I appreciate you looking out for me. You always make sure I have everything I need. Safe journey, Micah. I look forward to seeing you back here in a few weeks. Thank you, Elio. What do they want? What do the old Mary want? Why won't they talk to us? Why are they destroying so many worlds? <sighs> I'm going inside to get another cup of coffee. Good morning, Ambassador. Good morning, Namani. You're up early. It's almost 5.30, Ambassador. So it is. It seems I wasn't paying attention to the time. Thank you for the reminder with all you have to do to get us ready to leave. I appreciate you making time to call me. I have my coffee in hand. I'll be ready in 30 minutes. You are very welcome, Ambassador. Also, those additional supplies? Yes. I have everything you wanted. You would? You have everything? How did you, how did you manage? No, don't tell me. Don't, you, you have everything? Everything? Really? <laughs> yes, Ambassador. The last few boxes of dried foods and herbs are being loaded on your shuttle. You have a little more luggage than usual, and um, a few cartons were included in the stores we already transported to the Magellan. Already on the Magellan? Already on board? <laughs> oh, really? You're a magician. What did you do? How did you... Nothing too much. Some bargaining here and there. Some of the regular stores the Magellan requested were increased by just a little. A few last-minute boxes went into two of the containers. They will notice the wine bottles in the rice bins eventually. I'm afraid we will have to manually repack those. <laughs> I, I'm sure we'll find a way to manage. I'll help the doctor and Beth will too. And Kel, oh, he's going to enjoy this. You're amazing, Namani. Thank you. You are welcome, Ambassador. Also, the others will meet us at the departure gate. We are scheduled to leave at 10 a.m. local time. 
I received word that the captain would like to see you after you arrive on the station. Great. Just what a... Thank you. I'll meet you at the gate. See you shortly. Very well, Ambassador. The others and I will meet you at the gate. Namani can do so much more than I ever expected. I wish President Zambarak had assigned him to my details sooner. I remember the day she told me she had called me to her office to talk about my reports. You knew we weren't happy with your went-there-did-stuff summaries. Well, yes. So, why didn't you write your reports? I don't like writing reports. But you are required to write them. It's not optional. It doesn't make me like doing it. I take your point. But we can't let it continue. We're assigning you an acting chief of staff until you find someone. I've been looking. For almost a year? Well... And your last requisitions report. What's another case of wine or a few bottles of good sunflower oil among friends? It was more than a few. It was for a good cause. Please take a look at this screen. This is your new chief of staff. Nimani Amrula will be joining your team. Nice smile. Nice tailor, too. You're you're assigning an Elrenim administrator as my chief of staff? You must really want those reports. Why, yes. Yes, we do. He looks like he knows more than he lets on. But I don't really need a chief of staff. We've already talked with Namani. Oh? Once he gets your backlog cleared and your budget's up to date, you can find someone else if you want. I haven't met him yet. Tomorrow. You're scheduled to meet him here to start his orientation. That seems quick. Monday next week wouldn't be late. Minister Paragos has been screaming about these reports for weeks. The only way to shut him up was to tell him we would ask Namani if he would take this assignment. Luckily, Namani agreed. So you got him now. Please, give me something to placate Minister Paragos quickly. <sighs> we'll get started in the morning. I, I didn't realize. Thanks for taking care of it. I'll help Namani as much as I can. We'll, we'll get it sorted out. Don't worry. Thank you. Can I go now? Yes. This should be an easy first mission, Namani. We're supposed to meet the trade delegation in one of the conference rooms. They want to talk about the tariff changes without distractions. It won't take long. Seems the Vega 3 trade delegation has picked a nice place. These gardens are very well kept. There's a walkway to the main entrance over there. This is very nice. Atrium windows all the way up. Look at the way those plants are draped off the balconies. (laughs) They built a glass mountain and brought the plants inside. Good morning. I'm Ambassador Lawrence. I have a meeting scheduled. Which room are we in? Down that hallway, last room on the left. The door is open. Thank you. This doesn't seem right. There should be at least a seating area and a couple of side tables. This room looks like it hasn't been used in quite some time. Yeah, this shelf is a bit dusty. What's over there? Storage. This room is not set up for a meeting. It's not set up for anything. I'll go back and check. Maybe we got the wrong room? I don't think so. This is where he wanted us to go. Why? Why, indeed. Seems the greeting committee has arrived. You three couldn't use the door? You had to come through a wall panel? Ambassador, there are four more coming through the door. Oh, great. (laughs) We have an escort, too. Namani, I was told you had some training. Yes, I do, Ambassador. Do you know how to use it? Yes, Ambassador. Good. Now would be the time. You take the door. I've got these three. Ambassador? Go. Yes, Ambassador. Hello. How are you? Please take my hand, or should I take yours? Just a little twist. Oh, hello. We haven't met. Where are my manners? Let me introduce my foot to your knee. Oh, yeah, hello. So nice to meet you. Would you like to dance? Just a little spin. Greetings, gentlemen. Very pleased to meet you. I couldn't have set this up better if I tried. One on each side trying to box me in? 
perfect. Now, just a half second more. Ready. So very sorry to see you go. If you had let us know you would be here, we could have brought some friends. It would have been a nice party. Nicely done. You move quickly. Fair lady works the shuttles. They wanted to put me in a box. I let them. Besides, I like the turns. It shows. Thanks. Seems we may have been in the right place after all. Right place for what? Someone wanted a meeting with us, didn't they? Yes. Not quite the sort of meeting we were expecting, though. We should go. They will probably need medical attention. Let's call from the ship. We should go. You're right. Let's get out of here. We have much more planned for our next show. That's all for tonight. We'd like to say thank you to our performers, starting with our special guest, Tony Martin, the voice of Minister Pericles. Good night. Terry Morgan, the voice of the Ambassador. Good night. And Jennifer Bonaparte, the voice of President Ali al Sambarak. Good night. Sean Scott, the voice of Namani Anramlar. Good night. Thank you to everyone who's listened to our show. We appreciate you being here with us. Good night. Mommy, tell me a story. What kind of story would you like? Tell me a story of princesses and kings with swords and jewels and magical things where the heroes could be me and the tales they tell of worlds far away carry me home. You've been listening to Channel15Radio.com Old-time radio drama for a new era.